In this video, I wanted to briefly cover coordinate systems and points in SOLIDWORKS. So by default in SOLIDWORKS, we have an origin that's created in our part files and assemblies. And you can only have one origin. But the closest thing we can get to an origin if we want to specify other kind of zero locations is called a coordinate system. And this is accessible under reference geometry and coordinate system. Now I can place this right on top of my default origin there if I want to, and I can choose different uh, references if I want to redefine what is the x direction or y direction or so on. But I'll just leave this in its default orientation for now. Now if I want to place one of those somewhere else, then I need to have a point to define its position. So looking down here at the bottom of this connecting rod, I can go in and use reference geometry and point and this is an easy way if I just select a cylindrical face, it's going to create a reference geometry point in the center of that. This also functions where if you select an edge, it will place it in the center of an arc, for instance, or a circle. And uh, you could use this on arbitrary face types there. So it's a really quick way to create a point in space. And I'll just click OK to accept that. And then at that new point with that selected, I can place a coordinate system down there if I want to. Now these coordinate systems can be used in your mass properties. So you can specify a coordinate system to measure relative to for your moments of inertia and things. They can also be really useful in assemblies. So if you want to mate something together, let's take a look at that. I create a quick assembly here and I insert this connecting rod. By default it's fixed, but if I want to float that. An easy way for me to make this kind of fully defined is if I show my uh, coordinate system and I take that coordinate system and I mate it to the origin with just one coincident mate that's going to fully define the position of that component. I want to create more uh, locations for these in the assembly. Maybe I'll create an offset plane here. And then I could use the point command in one of its different modes where I choose an existing point and it will get projected onto this plane. Then right there I can create a coordinate system in the assembly. And suppose I had different component types I needed to insert, then I could just drag them in and mate them coordinate system to coordinate system. This is a quick coincident mate, which fully defines the component. So if you have modular parts, putting coordinate systems at the mating locations can be a really quick way to set them up in an assembly. I just wanted to quickly point out another behavior if we get rid of that last mate. And if you were going to mate a coordinate system to a point, this is really going to be the same as mating a point to a point, and that's going to give you a fully defined position, but it doesn't do anything with the rotations. You end up with kind of a ball joint behavior there. Coordinate systems are also useful for add-on products like SOLIDWORKS Simulation and SOLIDWORKS CAM, which is where I find myself using them a lot. Now, if you need to create a random point off in space, then uh, usually the fastest way to do that is just with a regular old sketch. Just simply create a sketch and choose a sketch point. And then you can place that off in space, dimension to it as you need to. And then if you want to create a coordinate system there, you can use sketch points directly uh, for a coordinate system. Or if you really wanted to, you could place a reference geometry point on top of that sketch point. But generally I'll use the point reference geometry whenever I want to center it on a face or an edge quickly. So I hope you found these tips helpful. And if you use coordinate systems or these reference geometry points for other purposes, let us know in the comments below.